Katie. Hmm. Hang on. Hold on a minute. Well, I mean, you've been working so much lately. We never get a chance to talk. Oh, Daddy, I promise we'll talk later, okay? Because I just have to finish unloading these groceries. And then I have to get your dinner ready. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. I forgot to pick up your medicine. Uh, That's amazing. That can wait until I'm done saying what I have to say, okay? I think you're spending way too much time worrying about me instead of concentrating on yourself. But Daddy, I like worrying about you. Okay? Well, I, I just want to say that, well, maybe the next job you get, they'll have a little more freedom so that you could go out on a date sometime. Oh, okay. I'm not going to discuss dating with my dad. Well, just remember what I said for me, okay? Because life can just speed you by, Katie. All without you even realizing it. Okay, Daddy. I know you always wanted to teach and have a family. And I just want to make sure that you remember your dreams as well as I remember them. Okay? Okay. Okay. That's it. That's all I want to say. Okay. Good. For now. Good talk. That's a good talk. Daddy. You know I'm going to come tackle you and take that candy back, right? I love you big as the sky, Katie. I think I'm going to keep these. <laughs> well, we've used every nanny available at the agency. Well, it's hard to believe that we have, so it's going to take me a few days to find somebody new. But when I do... I'm going to entrust in both of you that you're not going to plot, to plan, or strategize the demise of another nanny. Is that clear? Is that a deal, Ben? Deal. Deal. <sighs> Good. Thank you. Ben, please go to your room. I need to speak to your sister for a second. Okay. Sweetheart, come on. I'm all by myself here. I need your help. It's been hard on all of us, and I know that. And I know it's especially hard on you because your birthday's coming up. And of course, with mom's... I'm fine, but I have a lot of homework to do. So can I go now? Yeah, you can go. Look, I just wanted you to know if you have anything you could, you yep. know... Yep. Thanks, Dad. You could talk to me. I'm here for you. Help me. favorite daytime drama. Ray loves Lisa. <laughs> Shut up. I'm seriously not your best friend anymore. I'm not kidding, it's over. Good morning, ladies. Hi, Ray. Lisa. Hey, Ray. Hey, Lisa. Just want to say that you uh, look gorgeous this morning. Thank you, Ray. Hey, Ray. That is so coincidental because we were just talking about you. No kidding. Not really. No. no. We were, remember? No. You had to sit here. Mm -hmm. Of course I did. So I don't I don't understand. So why are you giving this guy a chance? He's, by the way, cuter than any guy you've ever gone out with before. And he's so sweet. And he likes you. What are you doing talking to me about dating? When's the last time you went on a date? Yeah, I'll get right on top of that as soon as I find a new job and finish school. Hey, uh, Kate. I have a sister that runs an agency for housekeepers and nannies and that sort of thing. Oh, really? I'll call my sister on my break. How does that sound? Thanks, Ray. That's so nice. Ooh, I know. He's sweet. Well, look, I'll be home in two hours. I'm going to pick something up on the way. Can you wait that long? Great. Thank you. I love you, too. Bye. I'm a little... Well, you'll be home in two hours, so, uh... You can still go out with me in four, right? I'm going to be spending my evening interviewing another nanny while you're out having a good time. Great.
Knock, knock. Hi, Reverend. Hi, Hi. Reverend. Oh, that's the Hello. Oh, hey, Ray. I'm right in the... Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. No, I can. Tell him yes. Okay, thanks, Ray. Bye. Uh, the Reverend's gonna finish this with you, okay? Um, I'm so sorry. I have to run out for a job interview. That's great news. Yeah, do you mind finishing with her? Well, does that mean you're not gonna be coming and helping us anymore? No, no, I'll be back. Good luck. Good luck. like the other nannies. Oh. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Can I let you know? Yes. Ben! I'm in here with the new nanny. Hi. Hi. You, uh, you must be Kate. Hi, David Chandler. Hi, David. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Ben! Can you go find your sister, please? Okay. Still here, please accept my apologies. <laughs> please come in. Could I uh, get you anything? Uh, no. No. Okay. Good. Let me uh, let me give you a tour. Okay. Your house is beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Hey, Dad, can I watch TV? Dad, did you do your homework? Apparently, I can't even have a private conversation in my own home anymore. I'm going upstairs. Um. I don't know. Some new maid my dad's interviewing. She 15? Yeah, well, oh, she's 15, but she's going on 25. Right. Anyway, um, I can handle the kids in the morning. Um, but I'll need you here at 3 o'clock for when they get back from school. And uh, you'll have to stay till I get home from work, which is usually 7 or 8 o'clock at most. When would you like me to start? Is tomorrow too soon? That's perfect. Really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just the three of us. So, see you tomorrow. Wow. Did you get the job? I did get the job. <laughs> I think it's going to be a good one, too. It's oh, that's terrific. Daddy, you should see this house. Oh, my God. It's bigger than this whole complex. It is. It's yeah. <laughs> I'm going to let you sleep, okay? I love you big as the sky. I do, Daddy. What does that smell? Uh, it's your dinner. I have plans to go study at a friend's house tonight, so... I'll just grab something over there. Oh, your dad said you're not allowed to go out on school nights. Do you guys want to do your homework at the table? Dinner's almost ready. I'll do mine upstairs. I cannot concentrate without Reek. How's it going? I've never done my homework in a kitchen before. You're kidding. I always did my homework in the kitchen when I was a kid. My mom always said it was the best place to do it. You know why? Because you can't stare at the TV. You're near the snacks, which is really important. Best part is, if you need my help, I'm right here. I bet your mom would think it's a good idea, too. Well, since we don't have a mom, I'd say that's a pretty stupid idea. Come on, then. I'll help with your homework upstairs. She said 
things that you wish you hadn't. Yeah. It'll go so much better tomorrow. Right. It'll be fine. Hey, Kate, that's the spirit tiger. Let me tell you something. I always try to keep it positive, no matter what the situation might look like. Yeah. You never know when someone's going to change your mind about you. Well, oh, oh, well, thanks for that, Ray. That's really good advice. Go out with him. I will think about it. Hey, Ray, you know, I think you might be right. You know, it's like Emily and Ben, they probably just need a little bit of time to get used to me. It's going to be fine. Can't get any worse, right? Right. Right. Emily. What? You have laundry? No. Nothing. Just the maid. <laughs> hey, there you are. Hey, what's happening? What? How's your homework going? I'm almost finished. Oh, good. Hey, can I help you with the laundry? Sure. Yeah, you know what to do? Oh, yeah. I've done it more than a couple times. Finish up my homework. Okay. Deserve this, huh? We just oh. love you, that's all. Yeah. Where's Kate, huh? Huh? Hey guys. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. Hi. Hello. Uh, are you hungry? Yeah, actually, I'm uh starving. Are you okay? I'm great. Everything's okay? I'm great, yes, everyone's great, right? Really? Yeah. We just... We had a minor mishap in the laundry room. Hey, Kate, why don't you uh, take off? Great. I can put the dishes away. You made dinner. I, should, I, should. I got everything. Great, I got everything. Um, sorry. I, uh... Look, I'm not kicking you out or anything. And I certainly don't want you to leave. But, you know, under the circumstances, you might want to go home and... Dry off. Okay, Come great. back tomorrow. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow, right, Kate? Kate. Kids make an effort to get to know you today. Oh, yeah. They made a huge effort to get to know me. In fact, Ben offered to help me with the laundry. Uh, why don't I feel that was a good thing? Well, because if you consider me having to clean up four inches of soap suds off the floor before David got home a good thing, then that could be why. <laughs> That's not funny, Daddy. Yeah, it is. A bit. It's a little funny. <laughs> These kids are testing the waters. The soapy waters. <laughs> oh, you should have seen me when David got home. Soap in my hair. So much for making a good first impression, right? Eat. Eat.
Nice job, Louie. We got her. Yes, we did. Definitely not. Oh, maybe, maybe. Put in the maybe now in a pinch, possibly file. Hi, David. Hey. <laughs> Certainly not. Oh, you kidding me? Capital N period O period. A burger? Hey. I hope that's for the Franklin meeting. Uh, can I ask you, would you uh, possibly entertain the idea of uh, going on a blind date with me? And not just me, I mean, no, but the lovely no. ladies.com. No, I'm not going on a blind date with you. Now, focus. In 20 minutes, we got a conference call with those Yahoo's from the restaurant. Are you going to a ball game? What is this? What do you mean? It's lunch. Lunch? Yeah. My God. Oh, this is the new nanny lunch, huh? It's new nanny lunch, okay? It's a few leftovers from dinner last night. What's the big deal? Lunch? It's just lunch. There's like five courses in here. And homemade have. cookies. Yeah, and you can't have them. I want a nanny. <laughs> you need more than a nanny. Thank you. Hmm. Hey, Louie. It's really very simple. A winner never quits, and a quitter never wins. And, oh, there she is. Hi, I'm sorry I'm late. That's all right. All right, that's it. I now leave you in the very capable hands of Miss Hewitt. Good night. Good night. Hey, guys. that we need to call a truce. I know that you guys have had a lot of nannies in here and they haven't stayed. And it's not too hard for me to understand why. Here's the thing. I'm not leaving. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for sharing. Hey, Kate. Mm-hmm? Can I ask you something really important? Sure, you can talk to me about anything you want. Do I still have to do my homework even though it's kind of wet? Yes. Oh, man. No, it's a bummer. You want a secret? Okay. You know how there's always a few kids in school that know everything? They know all the answers to the teacher's questions. They always get A's on their tests. Right. Well. Sometimes when I would study really hard and do all of my homework, that kid was me. 
So here's the thing. I think that from now on, you should always do your homework near me. That way, if you have questions, I'm right here to help you. Like your mom used to help you? Yeah. Like my mom used to help me. Okay. Can you guys bring me your plates? Since all of my previous free time was wasted on drawing my homework, I have to hurry so I'm not late for my dance class. I'm sure you don't mind picking up my plate, all things considered. Besides, I think it would fall under housekeeping. Um, Hi, Dad. Yeah. Hey. Hey, buddy. How are you? How was your day? It was really good. You know? And funny. Really? Funny, huh? How was it funny? No reason. I'm going upstairs. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Do you do your homework? Yeah. Ask Kate. Really? He did his homework before dinner? Yeah, he did, actually. And he started on his book report that's due next week. Wow. Oh. I don't think I have the words to explain how much of a huge feat that is. Usually we get in a fight just to get him open a book. And usually that happens before bedtime. I'm sorry. Thanks. Listen, I, Kate, I wanted to apologize for Emily's behavior earlier. Totally rude and, and uncalled for, and I apologize. Thank you. No, it's just a very different dynamic for her. She has someone new in her home. Yeah. yeah you're right, maybe. So, uh, got any big plans for this evening? Yeah, I'm gonna tutor kids at my church. <laughs> oh, what? That's great. Uh-huh. It's this little center I put together a few years ago. So, it's for the kids in my neighborhood. They all come from low-income families, so they can't afford tutors. But they're great, great kids. That's incredible. I, uh, I have to go. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye. <sighs> what is with this crazy thing? Come on here. Where'd that song go? Whatever happened to just hitting play? I can't figure out this stupid thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just barely touch it and it comes up asking about a menu. What does it think I'm hungry? Let's see. Lisa put all my favorite songs in there so I'd have something to listen to. And of course, I can't find anything. How's it going? Oh, okay. I just, I'm a little tired. I want to get some beauty sleep. Tell me about your day. My day? Well, I think Ben's coming around. We had a nice little moment today. In the kitchen. Bonding in the kitchen. Let me guess. Over cookies? Math. Oh, math in the kitchen. That's like when your mom used to help you out, huh? Yeah. Uh, what about the girl? What's her name? Emily. Nothing new to report there. Oh, except for the fact that she hates my guts. Oh, well, you'll bring her around. It's just a matter of time. I mean, it was it was hard for you when you were her age, so I can see where it's going to be hard for her. Okay, those are the updates. So you should get that beauty sleep that you think you need. What about the, the dad, David? David's fine. He's, yeah, my boss. Good night, Eddie. I wonder where a bus driver is. Your boyfriend, Ray? Don't be ridiculous. I feel like he's starting to grow on us. Isn't he? Admit it. I'm admitting to nothing. He's so funny. Besides, what have I always said about my perfect man? He will greet me at the door. I know, in a suit. In a nice suit and flowers. It's actually a good thing that you're not uh, too specific about exactly what kind of door it has to be. Hmm? Have a lovely day. Okay, crazy. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs> Hello, Ray. 
I have a little some for you. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, they're beautiful. Uh, pick those myself. <laughs> wear a black tie for your conference calls? No, 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 of course no. I didn't... No, I put this on after the conference call. I was wearing jeans and a t-shirt. No, I wouldn't... I was just kidding. Right, you're kidding. Of course. And of course, I always, like usual, look out of practice. I'm not used to having somebody in the house to talk to. It's, it's been a while. I only usually have Emily and Ben, but... Or my wife. Oh. My wife was hit by a drunk driver and killed... three years ago. Emily was having her 13th birthday, and uh, since then it's been really hard on all of us, so. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, what is that? I mean, please tell me my kids haven't bribed you into doing their homework. Oh, I, uh, I just, I'm getting my teacher's degree. Finally getting my teacher's degree. That's fantastic. It's, and it sounds crazy. Just that I've, you know, waited this long to finally get it, but it's just, it's always been a dream of mine to be a teacher. It doesn't sound crazy at all. I mean, what would be crazy is you're not going after your dream. You know what I mean? I do have one concern. Does that mean I'm going to have to start interviewing Nanny soon? I promise I'll give you plenty of notice. Hey, sweetie. What do you think? You look so nice. Huh? Yeah. I think so, don't you? <laughs> Kate, I have a dance recital coming up, so I have a lot of rehearsals. Do you think you could have my dance clothes washed and ready for next week? Yes, yes. Uh, just leave it in the laundry room. Thanks. I'm gonna check on Ben. Yeah. Neville looked back to the way that they had come. It seemed terribly far. So far, he had trouble remembering where they'd started. Behind him, Ben said, it becomes easier as time goes on. Neville turned to see him throw the bag over his shoulder and walk toward the inn's door. I'll see to our room, so good night, young master. Neville answered. Good night to you, sir. Can we read one more chapter? Mm -hmm. I need to go to bed. Your dad's gonna be home pretty soon. Maybe if you say please one more time. Really? No, not really. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. I'm just gonna call David and I'm gonna no, tell him I can't work tonight. Hey, just for no, tonight, I'm gonna take this. All right. And Lisa's coming by later. See if I need anything. So you just go on. All right, well, then I'm gonna call the doctor and I'm gonna ask him to be on no, call for you. Yes, Daddy. Doctor. I'm just gonna have him be on call for no, one evening. I've got, I've got a tickle in my throat. How silly are you gonna feel bothering the busy doctor and telling him I've got a tickle? Okay. If that tickle doesn't go away by tomorrow. I'm calling him. Fine. Just go on now. Here's your water. Yeah. You're gonna call me if you need me, right? Um. So I guess Jerry was right after all. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, he said something about you stopping in here a few times between classes and your job. Something about, I don't know, getting all spruced up for work. Spruced up? Who says spruced up? Your dad. <laughs> the dress is too much? No. You look awesome. For a date. 
Don't worry about it. I will come in and check in a few hours on Jerry, okay? Thank you. Bye. Thank you. We'll get back to the other. Thanks Great. a lot. Great. Thank you, David. Thanks Pleasure. again. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, sir. Jim, take care. Thanks a lot. All right. See us. Okay. Okay. What is going on with you? Won't you get that? You know, you rarely let me do the talking on a bid this big, and right now my throat is actually sore from overuse. I left you three messages today, you know. You didn't return one of them. You know, this kind of behavior can only mean one thing. So, uh, who is she? Wait a minute. It's the nanny. Keep it down. Am I right? Is that it? Chris, can you keep it down? How could you keep this from me? Your partner, your best friend. I know you're my best friend, brother, but there's nothing to tell you. No, 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 no. That's, that's not it. There's always a story. And if there's not a story, at least be considerate enough to make one up for me. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I don't know what it is, man. It's like... She makes me smile when I'm around her, you know? I haven't smiled like that in years. She's amazing. I also turn into, apparently, a complete klutz when I'm around her. I mean, I go up to her and I want to say something, and I feel like I can, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> like, I'm like an idiot, a bumbling fool. She's smart. She's kind. She's caring. I mean, she's... Do you know that she's going after a teaching degree? So she's educated? She likes my kids. <laughs> well, well, what? Well, I mean, you do pay her for that. Chris, I'm sorry. No, I'm trying to be no, serious. Please, go on, go on. What's your, what's your uh, plan of action? There's no plan of action, Chris. We're talking about the nanny. End of story. What, what, what do you mean, end of story? This is like chapter one of the story. This is the first nanny that hasn't quit in a matter of hours, Chris, let alone a day. What do you expect me to do here? She's great with the kids. She loves Ben. She, you know that Ben is actually doing his homework before dinner? Really? And M. Oh, don't even get me started. This woman has incredible patience with him, even when she pushes the envelope. And hey, as her godfather, you completely know what I'm talking about. And what if it doesn't work out with her? Then what? Then where am I? I'm not screwing up a good thing. I can't afford to. This math is tough. Yeah. You can do it, though. You're the smartest kid I know. Just take your time with it. Let's see what you got. Uh, okay, how do you change three-fourths into a decimal? Maybe by using your division. Right. Wait. Four goes into three how many times? Don't forget your decimal point. Okay, hold on. I got it. It's 0.75. That's right. Genius. Guilty. Good job, buddy. Hey, Dad. Show me some love. Oh, boy. Dad, you should see how easy math is now. Because of Kate, she made it so simple. No, it's not because of me. It's because your son is incredibly smart. Incredibly smart, huh? <laughs> Why the ultra lame happy party? Well, thanks to Katie, your brother now loves math. And since he used to not love math, I'd hardly call that ultra lame. Well, that's what all the excitement is about. Math. Seriously? Dad, how about we say I kind of like math? I don't know if I could ever love it. <laughs> Deal. Hey, how about we go inside and throw the ball around a little bit before dinner? Really? Can absolutely, we? Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Let's go. All right, let's go. You know what my mother used to say to me? Do you want me to, like, guess? Or is this one of those questions you really don't want people to answer? She used to say, do you think if you stand in front of that refrigerator with the door open for long enough that new magical food choices are going to appear? So let me guess, the end of the story is to close the door. Uh, no. Actually, I used to say, yes. I do think that, Mom. And I leave the door open. I'll try that on my dad next time. You want me to make you something to eat before you have to leave your dance class? It's okay, I'll grab something there. But, uh, thanks anyway. Okay. Hey, how long did you use that line on your mom? Until I was 16. Well, that was probably a good time to stop. Because if you stand in front of the fridge as much as I do, your mom was probably getting tired of hearing you say that over and over. <laughs> Actually, I, um, I think she would have liked to have heard me say it over and over for another hundred years. Well, that must be really nice for you to have that option, coming up with stupid comebacks to say to your mom. This is 
good. This is the stuff that you remember really well. Yeah. When I first came here, you know, for help, things weren't so great. But not at home or at school or anywhere, really. It was pretty bad all around. I remember. I really didn't even want to keep coming here, you know, but I don't know, for some reason I did. And I guess it was because of you. <laughs> it's like, you know, all the help you've been giving me and telling me how smart I am and stuff and all the things you say I can do with my life. Now, I really think I can do anything. I just want to say thanks for that. Well, you're welcome. All right. Okay, so this is the part that you're remembering really well, and mm -hmm. this is the part that you need to go over and over a few times. Am I disturbing you? Well, I could ask the same thing of you. Kate, you're not disturbing me. You know you're always welcome here. You all done for the night? Oh, yeah. I'm done with work and tutoring. and I just have a few hours of studying left. Uh -huh. I just thought I'd come here and get a few moments of nothingness before I head home. Well, sometimes a little bit of nothingness can cure a bad day. Uh, yeah. I think there's something wrong with me. I'm watching these uh, two kids. There's this little boy, he's nine. He's amazing. <laughs> and then his sister is unbelievable. She's so angry and has such an enormous chip on her shoulder. And I don't think I'm doing a very good job with her. Her mom died a few years ago, and she was only 13, so. No, it was a long time ago, but I, I remember a very angry, very sad young girl who, uh, whose father used to drag her to this church every Sunday. I mean, when she started out, oh, she was in a horrible place. Some days she was downright incorrigible. But bit by bit, uh, she, she found her way. She started relating to other people and uh, learned how to respect them. And she even did a lot better in school. And you know, sometimes I wonder whatever happened to that young girl. Yeah, I wonder if she turned out okay. <laughs> that you'll be led and guided to find the right and perfect way to reach this lovely young girl. You know, sometimes people just need to be shown how to get in touch with their faith. Work for you all those years ago. Now you'll do just fine. And uh, give my love to your dad. Anybody home? Uh, just me. Just you, huh? Yeah. Where are the kids? Uh, ben is at his sleepover, and Emily is at dance practice for her recital. Yeah, recital. So I guess, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Kate, actually, um, I just wanted to ask you how the exam went. Oh. The exam went incredible. Yeah. And uh, Ben got an A. That's fantastic. I know. That's so he great. was so happy. Yeah, I actually meant your exam. Oh. How's your exam go? Uh, it went great. I got an A as well. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. That calls for celebration. <laughs> it does. Look, we have to celebrate. I mean, unless you have plans, but. I don't have plans. Great. Then we'll celebrate. Hey. Hey. Everything okay? Oh, thank you. 
Cheers. I, uh... Cheers. Everything's fine. I just needed to call home and make sure I wasn't needed. Right, right. Oh. I'm sitting here uh, selfishly thinking that you're only needed in my home and I forgot to realize that maybe someone in your own home needs you as well. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, no. It's... It's... It's just my father. So, he's not feeling well. But he's had heart disease since I was in high school. So, I've been taking care of him for a long time. Since high school? Yeah. It's a lot of responsibility for somebody in high school. Wish Em was here. If she heard this, maybe she'd get a well-needed uh, behavioral adjustment. <laughs> Can I give you some advice? I mean, do you want my advice? On what? On Em? Yeah. Absolutely. Please. Okay. Uh, I just think that... Uh, she has a birthday coming up. Mm -hmm. I think she's probably missing her mom a lot. Even more than normal. Yeah. You're probably right. And either I'm a horrible parent or you're an incredibly intelligent woman. No. It's neither, trust me. I just, uh, I, I lost my mother when I was in high school to cancer. And uh, I just remember thinking, you know, that it was so tough right before she died. And it turns out that um, that was nothing compared to what it was like the next few years without her. I'm sorry you went through that. It must have been incredibly hard on you. Uh, Emily's gonna be fine. You know, she just needs a little more time. <laughs> what? Nothing. What? Um, I'm just glad you stayed. Oh. Um, I just don't know why I wouldn't stay. Uh, your house is beautiful. Your kids are great. I, I love being soaked in uh, laundry. <laughs> Argent and sprinkler mishaps are my favorite. <laughs> and I think I may be in love with your killer pet rat, Louie. <laughs> Louie, yeah. Well, don't beat yourself up too bad. You're not the only one who fell for their well rehearsed shenanigans, that's for sure. Oh, I'm not the only one. Mm -hmm. That actually does make me feel really good. Really? To know that I wasn't the first one to fall prey. Well, you're not, but you are the only one who stayed. Can you move on me? How am I doing? I'm doing well. This is awkward. Emily, you're home. Oh, goodness. Emily, uh... I thought you might like to know that I was home. Em... Um, Apparently not. Emily! Go. Can I come in? I'm really tired, Dad. Can I wait till morning? Yeah, sweetie, you can wait. I just want to make sure you're okay with... I'm fine. No big deal, I'm just tired. Okay, honey. I'll see you in the morning. recital this weekend. I just feel, I don't know, nervous. I just wanted to go okay, you know? I'm going. It's not like you guys have kissed or anything. Oh, Kate. 
He is your boss. You're not supposed to kiss your boss. Just don't forget everything you've done to get here. Put yourself through school and everything. And you better keep taking the bus with me. Oh, I'm not gonna ride the bus with you anymore. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for being my friend. I hate you. Uh, pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I'm very sorry for the inconvenience here. It should take more than a second. Something I really need to do. Lisa Harrison, come here. I love you so, so very much. Sweetheart, come on, sit down, champ. She's coming, don't you worry, just gotta be patient. Ah, she's on her way. Hey, Dad? Yeah, what's up, buddy? Can I ask you something? Yeah, always. Is it okay that I like it when Kate's around? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. Maybe because it makes you think that I don't miss Mom. Because I do, and like everything. I know you do. It's just really nice having Kate with us now. <laughs> so it's okay? Pal, it's more than okay. You wanna know something else? What? I like it when Kate's around too. <laughs> hey, there she is! Hi. Don't run. <laughs> wow. This is the best hug I've ever gotten. <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, these are for Emily. Okay. Wow. Come on, gorgeous. that's at the seat. All right, let's go. He's excited. You look beautiful. Emily's gonna love the flowers. Pink's your favorite. So, what'd you think? Oh, she was amazing. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought so too. That's why I knew you'd say that. <laughs> it's just she wants to go to the summer dance program. Yeah. It happens to be abroad. It would be good for you. It's a chance to work with all top dancing companies and everything, but I don't know. Let's get nervous. <laughs> that sounds incredible for her. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's just, I don't know how her dad's going to handle it. <laughs> hey, there's Emily. <laughs> ah! Oh, you did so good. Oh, thank you. Hey, you didn't fall. I told you I wouldn't. Talk this place off. Sweetheart, this is for you. Pink roses? <laughs> you remember? Oh, thank so you, Daddy. Oh, they were beautiful up there. They're beautiful. Thank you. Well, I do have to confess one thing, though. Kate was the mm, one who actually brought no. the bouquet. No, uh, actually, your father asked me to pick up some flowers for you from him, and so that's what I did. Oh, how did you know? I saw some photos of you from your other recitals, and you always had pink roses in your hands, so I just figured they were your favorite. Uh, actually, pink roses are my mother's favorite. Yes, but for a few years there, Emily, they were your favorite too, sweetie. Yeah. Can you hold these for a second? Yeah. You have to meet Pam. She's so awesome. Give me one minute, okay? Mm -hmm. Sweetie, I'm coming. <laughs> Pam, Pam. Hi. This is my dad. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet nice you, to finally. Meet you. finally. <laughs> okay, give me one second. I'll be right back. Yeah. Em. And she's so she's proud of her. She's ballerina, you know, at the door. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Emily's brother, Ben. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Thanks. So, I just wanted to say thank you for coming tonight. Oh, it was really nice of you. And for picking up the flowers. Sure. My dad wanted me to tell you that um, we're going out for a little celebration to our favorite restaurant. Okay, that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a family tradition after I perform. And Pam's never been there, so it should be really, really fun. So, have a great weekend, Kate. You too.
during the recital. Is he okay? Yeah. He, he had a, I had a bad coughing fit and he wouldn't take his medicine and I, I couldn't get him to eat anything, not even candy. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thanks for staying during your date. Oh, yeah. No, it was actually kind of fun to see Jerry beat someone else at cards for a change. <laughs> Let me go check. to get you out of the question. Pretty good try though. Yeah. I'm just too tired. I'm just too tired. That's okay, Daddy. How did I waste that suicide? Did you have fun? Yeah, I had a great time. Mm -hmm. I love you, Daddy. I'm gonna be right here. <sighs> Thanks, champ. No problem. I gotta tell you, I remember it so clearly. What you stuff? Feels like it was yesterday. Dad. Go back. No, it also feels like it was 16 years ago. No long this. speeches. Okay, okay, look. I know how you love to have a lot of presents on your birthday and Christmas and every other holiday, but this year I thought it'd be okay to get you one present. Dad. All right. You ready? Yes. Okay. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Go sit in it. Oh. Look what I got. I got. Please. <laughs> now, here's the deal. You have to pay for half the insurance. You understand? Dad, please. Come on. No, that's never gonna well, happen. You're probably right, but it was worth a shot. Oh. That's what do you think? I love it. Really? I love see how it. See, it look. We'll get in. Let's see what it looks like on you. Okay. Jam. Huh? I think that's got a seat with your name on it. All right. <sighs> All right. We're going for a spin, but I gotta go inside for a second. Okay? All right. Don't let her leave. All right, okay. but hurry. All right, I'm coming. Better hurry. Give me two seconds. I'm on my way. Let's go. Do you want to just go? Yeah, sure. Let's go. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that this is the first present I've gotten my daughter that she might actually like. <sighs> Come on, Dad. Let's go for a ride. Yeah. One second, sweetie. I'll be right there. Listen, I just... Is everything okay? I mean, did I do something wrong? I just wanted to make sure it wasn't moving too quick the other night because uh, I had a wonderful time with you. I did, too. You did? Okay, great. Yeah. Because, I mean, you, you just left so early after Emily's recital and everything. I just want to make sure you're okay. Listen, um, I also wanted to ask you something. And, you know, not to take it the wrong way. I just want to make sure Emily and Ben don't know what's going on between us yet. That's oh, okay. of course. Yeah, I just want to make sure you and I are on the same page. Yeah, I, I, I think... I th think I need to check dinner. Dad! Kate, I, what I was... Dad, come on, let's go! Okay, I'm coming! As your best friend, I feel like it's my duty to tell you that I think you're overreacting. What? Looking too much into just about everything. Wait, so they went out after the recital, I am saying, and didn't invite me. You no, don't think that's it was weird? Emily who didn't invite well, you. Oh, that's true. And David did seem like he was busy with Pam. And you left. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, I mean, you know me. I'm the smart girl. <laughs> it's like I get around this guy and suddenly I lose all sense of normal behavior. <sighs> what? Just say it. What? It's simple. You like him. Aww. Back when everybody else was going through dating 101 in their 20s, you were taking care of your dad. Everything you're feeling is totally normal. You know what? This is ridiculous. This is never going to work. We're from two completely different worlds. And I ride the bus, and he just bought his teenage daughter a luxury car. And I live with my father, and he lives in this house size of this apartment building. Hi, Pam. It's Emily. Hi. Listen, my dad has a lot of questions about the summer dance program, and he was wondering if you wanted to join him for dinner tonight. Yeah. Okay, great. Tonight's okay? I'll tell him you'll be there. Bye.
Christina. Can I call you back? All right, thanks. See you at your party, honey. Bye, Uncle Chris. Good luck, partner. Good luck? With what? Dad, I know you're really busy, but we need to talk about the summer dance program. Sweetheart, we've been talking about the summer dance program. We also decided I need a little more information before a decision is made. I know. And for the record, I absolutely agree. You do? Yes, of course I do. I know you have a ton of questions, which is why it's so wonderful that Pam has invited you to the meeting with all the other parents to talk about any questions that you might have. Great. Then we'll talk about you traveling abroad after that, okay? Great. So it's 7 o'clock at Chapter 8. Right? Well, hold, 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 wait a second. Wait. 7 o'clock? I already checked with your secretary and you don't have any other plans, so I confirmed that you'd be there. Um, all right. <laughs> okay, I'll be there. Thank you, Dad. I love you. How's it going over there? I'm almost finished. Okay, and I am done. Can I see? Okay. Oh. Oh. I don't know what else to say except that you're a genius. Yes! <laughs> Sweet! Oh my goodness. More math love? Yes, and I think you should be incredibly supportive of your brother because he has been working so hard. I am. Good job, Ben. You <laughs> are so smart. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, um, is dinner almost ready? Because, I mean, all this math is making me so hungry. Yeah. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. It's just going to be the two of us for dinner tonight. My dad wanted to meet you at this restaurant, Chapter 8, at 7.30. And I promised him I wouldn't forget, so please don't tell him I almost did. Oh. Uh, okay. Let me just call and check with him about Ben. He doesn't have his phone, so I want me to tell you. Okay, did he say anything about Ben? I'm here. No dance class tonight. Probably why I wanted to do it. But what about the book we're reading? I mean, we were supposed to finish it tonight. You are correct. So how about if as soon as I'm done with dinner, I will come back to say goodnight to you. Okay, deal. Okay. Oh, Mr. Chandler. I'm fashionably late, but I'm assuming my people are around. David? Here. Yes. Pam, hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> good Thanks. to see you. Where is everybody? Um, I, I believe that I, I'm your group. You're my. I'm sorry, I'm not following. Emily told me that you were meeting some of the parents to talk about the summer dance program. Is that correct? Um, Emily called me earlier to say that you wanted to take me to dinner to so talk about the dance program. Please tell me she didn't do that. Uh huh. I, I'm oh. sorry. No, 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 no. Hey, hey. Come on, you shouldn't be sorry. I'll apologize profusely on behalf of my daughter. Uh, it was really nice to see you again, and I am more than happy to speak to you about the dance program some other time. You know what, so... Pam, Pam, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Let's... Natasha. Natasha. Yes. Um, I was wondering if you had a table for two of you all tonight. Yes. Excellent. Your Say... daughter made a reservation earlier. Oh, my daughter. <laughs> Appropriate. Of course she did. We'll take it. I'm assuming you haven't eaten, so I'm, I'm, I'm starved. <laughs> But I do make it a rule not to eat before a non-date setup. Yeah, me too. It's a good plan. <laughs> try that next time. Welcome to Chapter 8. Hi. Do you have a reservation? Oh, I'm meeting David Chandler. Sure. Right this way. What are you doing here? 
Your father's on a date with Pam. You know that already, don't you? We need to talk. No offense, but I'm really not in the mood for a talk. I'm really tired. Yeah, well, this won't take very long. Do you have any idea how you have humiliated me? Your father is allowed to date Pam. He doesn't have to ask my permission. I know that. And obviously, so does he. Emily, I, I really want you to know that I understand what you're going through. I really do, and I'm here if you need to talk to are me. Are you seriously trying to tell me that you know how I feel? Because if you are, please stop right there. I am so sick and tired of people telling me that they understand, that they know what it's like. No one knows. I know. I can tell you this for sure. No matter what happens in your life and how horrible it feels, <laughs> even if you just try to keep the faith, it does start to get better eventually, I promise. You want me to keep the faith? when I can't find any to begin with? Phone's ringing. Soft. I know. You're right on the edge. You're late right in your team. The team isn't this You've suddenly made some enemies this far. Is everything okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's okay. It's okay. Jerry, can you get to him, please? There. stayed there, I wouldn't have been responsible for what I wanted to do to that child. Emily is horrid and atrocious. I seem to remember a young girl that acted out just like that. It wasn't as bad as that. I beg to differ. There were some pretty stellar moments. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm going to call David tomorrow and I'm going to tell him that I need some time off. You'll do nothing of the kind. You'll continue working with this family. And you'll keep going to school, and you'll get your teacher's degree, and you'll let yourself fall in love and have a magnificent life. I don't want you to talk like that, okay? We don't need to talk about anything. Yes, we it's do. Just... You were brought into this family's life for a reason. Yes, they need you, but whether or not you know it, you need them too, Katie girl. Daddy, I don't think this family needs me. Don't you... Don't you give up on this girl. You don't realize, but she needs you now more than ever. She doesn't know it yet, but you're going to bring her around. One day, you'll find a way to reach her. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. It doesn't matter if you know. I have enough faith for both of us. How was your night? We need to have a little talk. What was all that about with Pam tonight? I was hoping she would tell you what an incredible opportunity this is for me to travel abroad and dance. Honey, look, I appreciate you trying to get me out there dating again. I really do. But I'm a grown man and I'll deal with it from here. Do you understand? Yep. Did you have a good time, at least? Yes, yes, we had a great time. As friends. And only as friends. Did she at least tell you about the dance program? Ah, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, she did. And no, I haven't made my mind up yet. Okay. Oh, uh, one more thing. When did Kate leave? Earlier than she's supposed to. She got a phone call, so she had to go. Okay. Get to bed, so. Good night, Daddy. I love you. I love you, too, sweet. Which room is it? It's Hewitt, room 342. Thank you. Daddy? Daddy, I'm right here, Daddy. Just step that. Right here. Again? <laughs> yes, sir. Ify? 
Being aboard. No, he's not responding. Zero out for Dear Jim. Truly sorry. Hi. I'm sorry. Thanks. Listen, you call me if you need anything, okay? Okay. I, uh, I'm gonna need a little time off. I understand. Thanks for coming. Anything at all, you call me. Your dad was so proud of you. He loved you very much. Ben's been asking for you a lot. He is? Yeah. I'm sure Emily would like to say hi. <laughs> I'm glad you came. Oh. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I don't think I can stay. Um, I just want to bring Emily his present, so... Okay. Kate, wait. Wait, I just... I really want to... I'm sorry. I was just looking for the birthday girl. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> uh, it's really nice to see you again. You too. I'm gonna go see Emily. Oh, you two finish your conversation. I'll catch up with her later. No, actually, we're done with our conversation, so. Um, I'll, I'm gonna go see him. So, where's this friend of yours? Friend, right. Do you need something? Uh, no, I, I just wanted to say happy birthday. Thanks. Pam just got here. She's looking for you. Oh, where is she? She's in the kitchen with your dad. Oh, that's so perfect. Isn't it great about them? It's great, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna leave your gift right here for you. Okay, see ya. Okay, happy birthday. Just what I always wanted. Book. Lydia, and I will be taking care of you. Dinner at six. Dad's gonna be so happy. But I wanted to show Kate. Forget about Kate, I think it's really cool. Thanks. 
Hey, you wanna go play some video games? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you do. Come on, let's go. And did you talk to David? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I left him a message. Didn't really get into details in case Ben was listening. I don't know, he's gonna be so confused about why I'm not there anymore. Well, I'm sure David will explain everything to Ben. Did you explain everything to David? I wanted to, but I don't know. He was with Pam, it was just so silly. Mm -hmm. It's better that I just walk away from this right now. There's so many things I need to get into order, and I promised my dad I'd finish school, so that's what I'm gonna do. Hey, Uncle Chris. Hey, Em, what's going on? I'm fine. Is that okay? Yeah, he's great. Why? What are you doing here? I'm here to see Pam. Oh. Ever since your birthday party, kiddo. It's on. It's on? Oh, it's on. <laughs> oh. I'll see you, okay? Okay. How you doing? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> we'll go get something good. Bye, uh... Impressive bipartisan support, but the authors are unsure if it can serve. Hey, honey. How was your dance class today? It was okay. Yeah? I saw Uncle Chris. Yeah, he's on a date with Pam tonight. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? So, sweetheart, I'd like you to uh, clean up a room before you go to bed tonight, okay? Okay. Good night, Dad. Good night, sweetheart. Offsetting job losses in construction. Wall Street responded positively to the news, with the stock market closing up more than 15 points. With the housing market expected to lose ground. For Emily, happy birthday from someone who understands. More person tells me they know what it's like. No one knows what it feels like not to have a mother. Yes, can I help you? I hope so. I'm looking for Kate Hewitt. Do you know where I can find her? Well, as a matter of fact, she just finished her tutoring and she's inside the church. You're welcome to go in. Why didn't you ever tell me about your mom? I tried a few times, but... It just didn't ever seem like the right time. You know, I was a few years older than you when my mom died. I wrote in that journal every day. Some days I'm not so proud of. I think I can relate to a few of those. <laughs> Everything in here, like on every single page. It could have been me writing this. I'm so sorry. I know that every day feels like it's awful and it's never gonna get good again. 
But one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna notice that you had a good day. Maybe you and I could try to keep the faith together. What if I can't? You can call me. Hey, sweetie. Hey. What are you doing still up? I, um... I decided I don't want to do the dance program this summer. Okay. I just think it'd be better if I stayed here. To help you with Ben. Okay. Do you mind telling me what brought this on? I've just been thinking about some things. Things that have been really bothering me. Dad, I know what I'm about to say is going to really upset you. But I hope, I really hope, that someday you'll be able to forgive me. So yesterday we talked about our favorite books. And today we are going to discuss fairy tales. And the difference between fairy tales in books and life. Okay, so when we're reading a book, when we're reading a fairy tale in a book, how does it usually begin? Once upon a time. That's right. And how do fairy tales usually end in books? Happily ever after. Very good. That's right. Now, in real life, some... Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, what are you doing here? Well, we, um, we missed you. Uh, I miss you. with me <laughs> yes yes I would love to go on a date with you
giờ thì mình vừa cùng cả nhà tô xong bức tranh hột chú cá heo và quả bóng cảm ơn cả nhà đã theo dõi video tô tranh của mình